Yeah. Uh huh. I ain't gonna let the people frisk me if I'm dirty, homie. A nigga never touch me, I got that dirty on me. Don't be afraid to venture over the bridge. I'm Fat Row, and that beat by Row. My name be Ringin'. One, two, three, let's go. I want to touch on this too, because to me, this is a big deal. Like, I noticed, and maybe you can answer this question. A lot of battle rappers, they're stuck in a box. Mm -hmm. They can only battle rap. They can't make songs to save their fucking life. I heard a lot of your music, because I'm always, you know, I've, we, we, we go to the same studio for right, right, people right, that right. don't know. We always in the same boy studio. Wonder, yeah, shout out to Boy studio. Wonder. And you got some good music, you know what I'm saying? You, you don't sound like, you know how uh, a lot of battle rappers, their music turns into like battle. Rappy, you sound like a rapper, yeah, rappy rapper. A rappery, like, rappery. They're battling the whole time on, right, right, it's just right, like right, a battle right, on wax, basically. Right, right, right. You make real records Thank you, where when you listen, you wouldn't even have any idea that you battle. Because yeah. you don't, it doesn't sound like that. Yeah. Why do you think it's so hard for a certain, for, for, for battle rappers to be accepted? Like, okay, he well, can battle, but he can make records too. Why, you why, know why? why is that Because people hard? think they know you. Okay. So the only, I mean, my gift has been my curse in that if I didn't have a crazy fucked up life to talk about, <laughs> right. you wouldn't want to hear what I had to say. You right. would think, oh, that's Sirius Jones, the battle rapper. I already know about him. He can rap. That's it. That's it. You think that's it. You right. know what I mean? Meanwhile, you'll listen to Gucci Mane or whoever else that you think has a crazy life for you to hear about as a real nigga. Right. But you think he's just a battle rapper. Right. Because that's the way the human mind works. Like, we like to figure things out fast. So if we think we figured something out, we feel like there's nothing more to figure out. So um, for me, I think the, the difference for, with me is that I'm a, I'm a person, I could look at things differently. Like, I could dribble. That doesn't mean I don't want to shoot. Right. Some people, if they could dribble, they feel like they got it. You got a handle, especially in New York. You got a handle, handle. you don't need no jump shot. Right. But I'm a nigga that, nigga, I want a jump shot. I want to know how to pass. I want to dribble. I want to spin moves. I want, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I think as an artist, I'm the same way. So I always wanted to make real records that I feel like affected life. You know what I'm saying? Right. And for those that don't know about my music, you're fucking bugging. Definitely bugging. For one. And um, for two, I mean, I think it's really an opportunity for for your talent to just be free, because on a beat, right. you can do things that you can't in a battle. But I think a lot of people, they don't, you know, they weren't as fortunate, I guess, but I was blessed to just be around talent my whole right. career, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to Needles, multi-Grammy, you know what I mean, producer, that was the first nigga that ever made a beat for me, you know okay. what I'm saying? So I, I always had beats that was so fire right. that I had the rap. Otherwise, it would just be like, get this nigga off this beat. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? right. So I think that I had the good uh, problem of actually um, having to step up to the plate because I couldn't just be a battle rapper. Right. It's, it's interesting because a, a lot of battle rappers have huge followings, right. but when they release music, it don't add up to the yeah. following. So in some cases, their own supporters don't accept them. For just, right. They just want right. to hear battle rap. Right. And that's kind of like... They, they, well, this, they're caught in a box. This is why I, I'm doing a little more of like put my business on blast, I guess. <laughs> hey, this is a place you <laughs> do it. And telling <laughs> you motherfuckers about, you know, who I really am. And I'm actually doing a documentary that's um, called What Happened to Sirius Jones. Okay. And it's really explaining, um, you know, about, you know, when I, I got stabbed five times, could have died and, you know, the cases I fought and... Can you My speak life. on that? Is that is yeah, that, I can speak what, on that. What was that, what was that about? Well, basically, I was in Miami, turned up, you know, on Molly being all too extra, you know okay. what I mean? And, um, you know, basically macking, you know what I'm saying? And um, some little, uh, basically, I got into it with some Haitian bitch. <laughs> wow. and, uh, and uh, she basically just told all the Haitians on me. And, right. uh they came and, and, and we, you know, and shout out to my nigga Shock Passe, all my real niggas that know I lived in Miami for like, uh, you know, a couple of years and that's okay. why I was living in Miami. So, I mean, I was out of pocket really because I was, you mm -hmm. know, by myself and I mob like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm by myself in the dirty club, you know what I mean? A dirty strip club mm -hmm. with a table, talking shit, popping my shit. And people don't like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Right. When, when, um, when they think, you know, 
So basically, I got in a fight. You know what I mean? A, a bouncer. With a bouncer, actually. Okay. So the bouncer fucking come to find out. <laughs> he must have been fucking the bitch or something. Right. Uh, but the bouncer basically stole off on me. Okay. In the middle of the club. I actually could sue these motherfuckers, got a bunch of money, but I had to, like, do mad testify shit that I wasn't with. Like, okay. I got to really basically tell on them, you know what I mean? And that just ain't my style. But, um, yeah, so a bouncer stole on me. I started, I got shaken with the bouncer, and, you know, I got basically jumped by bouncers. And in down south, they have niggas that's, like, unofficial Niggas that work there, that's yeah. like, you cool with the bouncer, <laughs> so you there every day so selling dead. drugs. Kicking so, ass, you know what I mean? Right. So, basically, yeah, I got I got jumped by these niggas, and I thought I won, because I, I left the club on two feet, you know what I'm saying? And, and basically, I mean, I'm talking shit on the way out, or we rumbling to the door, right. and when we got out the door, I'm like talking shit like, yeah, you bitch-ass niggas, da 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 you know what I mean? I'm still turned up, patroned up. Right. So, niggas is looking at me like, Bruh, like, and I just saw people's eyes, and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with, like, why are these niggas looking at me like this? And I looked down, and I had, like, five holes in my ribs, like, this big, and it was just, like, you know, when you're breathing heavy, it's like this. Right. It, was just, and it was just, like, just pouring out of me. Right. So my whole shit was red, you know what I mean? And um, basically, uh, they tried to call the police on me to make it look like I did a, you know, I did something. Right. So when the cops showed up, I already knew what the deal, what the deal was. So I was like, look, man, can y'all, I know they called you, I told you I did this, but look, this happened to me. So can y'all just call me an ambulance? So they was like, all right, yeah, we got you. They called the ambulance. And you was and that calm about it? You put Yo, I, honestly, in my documentary, I might have the paramedics and the people from the things just so they could tell the stories. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? But the, uh, the guy actually told me he was like, yo, bro, like, you have fatal wounds. Like, yeah, you need saying. to calm the fuck down and chill out. Like, you're, you're being way too cool. Like, because right. I guess I was still swagging because I don't want to look like right, right, niggas right. ain't get off on me. Like, you know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still trying to be a fucking rapper or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like Scarface, you know baby. I mean? I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like, You're like, man, it was like, like a sheep I'm like, yo, I'm right talking there. shit like, man, I can't believe these punk ass niggas. Like, you know what I mean? And um and the guy in the in the in the in the thing was like, listen, man, lay down and be quiet. Like, you have fatal stab wounds, man. Like, right. What's wrong with you? And I was like, I, right there, it hit me. I'm like, yo, y'all better save my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas better not let me die in this bitch. So you wow. know what I mean? Um, that's that was you know just. That's like one of a thousand. Did they ever stories, show how you know close you came or how fatal that could have been? Um, had they, well, had basically, they, if it sounded like you lost a lot of blood. Yeah, nah, and I mean, I got big scars on my shit, but um, honestly, bro, it's mad shit with me, man, right. that the world don't know about because I don't tell them, and okay. um, I always been the type of nigga that. I was, I've been scared. I've been scared to talk about what I do in real life and scared to talk about what I do because I don't want to get locked the fuck up. Don't